Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Riding Data Pipelines with Kedro. This is your host, Data Engineer One. And today, we're finally going to be adding a basic node and data set to our current Kedro pipeline. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to be writing the node. We're going to be actually transforming that data frame into a plot. And then we're going to be adding a data set that will allow us to save that plot. And then we're going to be tying the node and the data set together in today's show. So let's get things started. We're going to first start up our ASCII cinema so you, know, you guys can follow along at home. And then we're also going to run a Tmux session. The reason we're going to be running a Tmux session is because I want to start up another Kedro Jupyter Notebook again so that we can refer to the previous code that we wrote. Here we go. And now we're going to open up our notebook, which was located inside of our notebook folder. And it's still titled untitled, unfortunately, but I think you guys can forgive me. Now, if you remember from the last episode where we were talking about Jupyter Notebooks, you can use this code snippet in order to import your context. Just make sure that it's pointed at the root for your Kedro project. So the data node that we're going to be creating today, the transformation node, will effectively do the same thing that this notebook did. Um, it's going to be taking the data frame, filtering by the specific species, and then creating a scatter plot which will then return a figure that we can save to our uh, data folder. So this is actually a very normal pattern in Kedro. What you'll find yourself doing is you're going to be first writing and experimenting inside of a notebook and then taking those transformations that you write in the notebook and then creating them into nodes. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to write this node, I think what we can do is we can actually write it inside of the data engineering portion of the pipeline. Uh, that's because you know you can imagine a situation where a data engineer wants to just take a look at what the current plot looks like for the input data, for example. So we're actually just going to make the node right here. We're just going to name it a make scatter plot node. We're going to take in a panda data frame, and we're going to be outputting a figure. We don't have to actually put that in the type hint, but we'll just remember it for now. So matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to first call subplots here. Paste that there. And then we're actually going to do each of these guys. Um, but what we, we can do is we can actually take a, advantage of a scatterplot trick here and we just make that into a for loop. So for each index in, and species in the enumeration of the list of data frame species dot unique, this will get us the unique list of species. We're going to filter the data frame by that particular species and then plot it using scatterplot where x is equal to the pedal width, y is equal to pedal length, label is equal to the label itself which is the species and the color here is actually going to be an auto-generated color based on the index and then the subplot axes uses the built-in axes that we just created up here. Now what we're going to do finally is once we've gone through this guy, we're going to set the figure size, set size dot inches, all by 12. And then what we're going to do is we're going to return the figure. Now, I just want to remind you that Kedro nodes are meant to be pure functions. So we're actually not going to do this figure.savefig inside of the node. Instead, we're going to create a data set to do the saving for us. So now that we've finished this, let's go ahead and create that data set. So we're actually going to create that data set by using the configuration catalog YAML. So inside of this YAML right here, as you can see, there's already the iris data set, which is reading from the CSV data set. But now we're going to make a new data set, which is going to be iris scatter 
plot. And the type of this scatter plot is actually going to be a different type. This is one of the Kedro built in types, which is located under Kedro extras data sets matplotlib matplotlib writer. So this data set right here, you can actually find a whole list of data sets using the Kedro read the docs link. So actually Kedro has a really great set of documentations. And here you can find that matplotlib writer that we are using currently. So we can just search matplotlib and here it is right here, Kedro extras data sets matplotlib matplotlib writer. Let's go back in here, Kedro extras data sets matplotlib matplotlib writer. We're going to set the file path equal to something like iris.png. We're just going to keep it simple for this example. We're going to write that in. And so now we have the node, we have the data set, we just need to combine them together using a pipeline. Let's go ahead and edit the data engineering pipeline in this portion. Data engineering pipeline. And what we can do is we can actually just copy the previous pipeline. I'm sorry, the previous node in the pipeline, just paste it in. And then we're going to change some of his attributes. Well, the first thing that we're going to change is we actually want to use instead the make scatter plot function, pure function that we just wrote. And we want to make the input only the example iris data. We actually are not using and don't need the parameters. Finally, for the output, what do you think we're going to use? You guessed it, the iris scatter plot data set that we just added. So now what's going to happen is when we run this pipeline, we're going to call the make scatter plot function using the example iris data set as the input and then using iris scatter plot as the output. And if you recall, our example iris data comes in as a pandas data frame and it'll go out as a matplotlib figure writer. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Quit all, Kedro run, and let's see how many errors we got. Oh, no errors. When we open the data iris.png, we should be able to see our data set. Excuse me, my light just turned off. And there you have it. Very, very simple. Here we have our iris PNG. It comes with the petal length and petal width, as well as the filtered species, as well as the colors for each of the species. Yeah. So as you can see, very easy to add our own data pipelines, very easy to create and transform and keep track of the nodes that we're using using Kedro. Yeah. So that's it for today's lesson. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye-bye now.